Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well, and welcome to a beautifully sunny day in the environs of Great Missenden, where today I'm riding the Triumph T120 Bonneville, and in a break from tradition, what I'm going to do today is not only give you the top five things I love about the bike, but also the top three things I dislike about the bike. So if you're interested in the Bonneville, stick around, stay tuned, this video's for you. Okay, so let's start the video with the negatives, shall we? The top three things I hate about the bike. Now, of course, hate is a strong word. I do love the bike, actually. I love all the Triumph Bonnevilles. And uh, this one is very, a very, very nice bike. Go and check out my uh, video I made, I think about three years ago now, of actually living with one of these. I had this bike, or a bike very similar to this, about three years ago when they'd just come out. And I had it for a couple of weeks, really got to know the bike. I'll put a link in the corner to that video. Go and watch that. Don't watch it now, but after this video. And uh, you can see how I felt about the bike overall in much more in depth. But uh, as I say, for this video, I'm going to give you my top three whinges, my top three likes. OK, then, so to the first dislike I have of the T120, and this is something that a few of the Triumphs share, and I've mentioned it before, and that is the way the daylight running lights work. I just think the lighting on the uh, instrument panel is the wrong way around for the setting you've got in. Let me show you what I mean. So if I turn the bike on, OK, and you turn it on, and as standard, uh, with the button down here, I've got the dipped headlights on now, OK? So I'm not showing anything on here, and uh, if we come around the front of the bike, we can see that there we go, we've got the dipped headlight on. Uh, and that's as you'd expect. All right, now if I come and turn the daylight running lights on, uh, you push it forward like that, you get a light on that looks like you've got dipped lights on now, but in fact, you've got the daylight running light on. You see this bottom bit, it looks very cool, but to me, I think the daylight running light should come on as standard without any sort of lighting on the instrument panel. And then when you turn the switch to dipped beam, that's when that light should come on. That's my thinking about it anyway. It just seems the wrong way around to me. So that's the number three on my list of the things I dislike about the T120 Bonneville. Okay, so on to number two of my list of the uh, top three dislikes of the bike, let's call them that. And that is the cost of the machine. According to the website when I checked yesterday, this machine costs £10,300. And to me, that's quite a lot of uh, money for a bike of this type. Why do I say that? Well. When you look at things like the Royal Enfield Interceptor, famously probably the most uh, popular retro bike of the last couple of years, you can pick one of those up for about five and a half grand. So you've got to ask yourself the question, is the T120 twice a Royal Enfield Interceptor? And as an owner of an Interceptor and an owner of a Speed Twin, so I'm a Triumph fanboy as well, I have to say this bike is not twice a Royal Enfield. It, it, don't get me wrong, it's a way, way better bike than the Royal Enfield. It's much more refined, it's much smoother, it, the quality of the build is better, everything about the bike is better. And of course it's in a different league because it's a 1200, not a 650. But all that said, does that make the Royal Enfield half as good? No, it doesn't. So that's number two on my list of winges, the cost of the bike. I just think it's quite a lot of money for a retro machine. So the winges are nearly over, you'll be glad to hear. So what is number one of my top three winges, the things I dislike about the Triumph T120 Bonneville? Well, that's without a doubt the weight of this bike. It's one of the heavier Bonnevilles. Uh, I'll put the weight of the bike on the screen. I'm used to my Speed Twin, which in fact is the lightest of the Bonneville. So perhaps I'm being a little bit unfair with the T120, but to me, when you shift it around, it just feels flipping heavy. Getting it off the side stand, it leans over quite a far, uh, a far way. Moving it around the garage, it just gets my arthritic shoulders. So uh, if you're small, wimpy, have arthritic shoulders, you might want to have a bit of a think about it. I think uh, from a weight point of view, bikes like the T100 probably make more sense. So that's the uh, top of the list of the three things I hate about the T120. That's its weight when you're moving the thing around the garage. Okay, nobody likes a winger, do they? So let's move on to the top five things that I love about the T120 Bonneville. So number five of the top five things that I love about the Triumph T120 Bonneville is just the build quality of this machine. Triumph in the last five years have really upped their game on build quality and the uh, T120 is no exception. Just things like the uh, finish on the clocks, the little uh, stay on the mudguard, the engine finishes, just little things like I don't know, where it says Triumph on the seat. They've just paid attention to the fit and finish on this bike and uh, that's the uh, number five on my list of the things that I love about the bike. So on to number four of the top five things I love about the Triumph T120 Bonneville. And that is, it's got just the right amount of electronics. This machine has got uh, ABS of course and traction control, it's got riding modes, and that is basically it. And to my mind, that's all you need on a modern motorcycle. Okay, it's a little bit different if you're gonna get uh, a top spec sports bike that you go on track days, and then you maybe you want all the electronics you can get to uh, keep you safe and help you out on track and shave milliseconds off your track time. 
But if you're just out for a lovely Sunday afternoon ride like you would be on a bike like this, then you don't need any more electronics than that. So that's number four of the top five things I love about the Bonneville. They've got the electronics just right on this machine. Not too much, not too little. Okay, on to number three on my list of the uh, things I love about the Bonneville then. And that's something that's not too surprising. And that is just the comfort on this bike. I love the way that you're in an upright seating position. You feel almost like you're on an armchair. That's the sort of position you're in. Your legs are, are basically feel like they're almost 90 degrees they're actually at a slightly acute angle but they're very very comfortable there is of course no wind protection on the bike it's a naked bike but you're not going to be herring around on this bike at super duper speeds if you're just going to the back lanes then the wind lack of wind protection is no issue on this bike so it's quite comfortable as far as that's concerned the handlebars as well are just in the right place not too wide not too narrow good leverage on the bike the seat's nice and long, you can move down if you're long-armed and long-legged or you can move up close if you're a shorty. You can find somewhere that works for you on the seat, so the seat's nice and comfortable as well. So that's number three on my list of the top five things I love about the Bonneville T120 and that is the comfort of the bike. You can ride this for hours and hours and you're not going to get uncomfortable. Okay, on to number two of the top five things I love about the Bonneville and that's this, listen. <laughs> oh, you've got to love the way the engine on this bike delivers its power. Because it's a 1200cc bike, there is plenty of power there. Don't go around thinking just because it's a retro bike and it looks like something your granddad might ride. Don't go around thinking that it's a slow bike, it's not. And it's got loads of low down grunt as well. And that's what I love about it. It's only fast up to the speed limit and then it runs out of puff. And all the grunt is nice and low down. So the, the power on this bike is all exactly where you need it, within the legal road speeds that you're going to be riding the bike on. So that's number two on my list of the top five things I love about the bike. It's smooth, low down power delivery. It's got all the power you need, right where you need it. It's just real world power on this bike, I love that about it. Okay then, to number one of the top five things I love about the Triumph T120 Bonneville, and that is quite straightforward, uh, very obvious, and that is its retro good looks. I think out of all the Triumph Bonnevilles, the T120 is the one, to me, that looks most authentic. It does look like a Bonneville should look. I think it's an absolutely cracking looking machine. Comes in all sorts of different variants. This is the uh, Ace Cafe version, uh, which I think is lovely with the uh, with the badging on it and so on, and the blacked out bits and the trinkets and what have you that it's got. But uh, the T120 in standard form comes in some lovely colour schemes. Uh, and I think it's just uh, a really lovely looking bike. If you're uh, after a retro machine, there are very few that look as good as this. So that's number one on my list, of the top five things I love about the T120 Bonneville. It's just retro good looks. It's uh, absolutely up there with the best of them. Okay, so there you have it. That's uh, the top five things I love about the uh, T120 and the top three things that get all your nerves a bit about the bike. Now, it's all just my opinion, of course. If you've got one of these bikes and you love it and you disagree with me, then I'll be fascinated to uh, read your comments down below. Do stick them in there. And if I've missed something out that you think I should have included, then uh, do put that in as well. It is only my opinion, of course, and it's all done in the names of entertainment, so don't take it too seriously. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it. It's a beautiful day to be riding out today, if a little nippy. I don't just do bike reviews here on the Missenden Flyer either, by the way, but I do uh, bits and pieces on how to look after your bike in the garage. Can't. Slippy. I do monthly bike news. I do trips and tours at home and abroad. Basically everything and everything to do with motorcycling. I cover it here on the Missenden Flyer. So if you've not yet hit that subscribe button, it would be fantastic to have you along. Do hit that. Ding the little bell thing so you get notifications. And that way I can see you in the next video. Okay, that's it for now then. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio. Where the hell am I? It's all very well doing these videos when you're concentrating on what you're saying but your nav goes completely to pot. I've no idea where I am. It's all rather lovely though. <laughs>